Mastering English Listening Skills Effectively. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's podcast. Today, we will be discussing an important topic for English learners: how to successfully improve your English listening skills. I understand that improving your English listening skills can be challenging, but with the right strategies and patience, you. Can significantly enhance your ability to understand spoken English. Let's dive deeper into each of these tips. Tip number one: Start with the basics. When embarking on your journey to improve your English listening skills, it's essential to begin with a solid foundation. First, choose beginner-level resources. Seek out resources specifically designed for beginners. This could include beginner-level podcasts, YouTube videos, or even children's stories. Second, focus on slow and clear speech. Look for content where speakers use slower speech patterns and emphasize proper pronunciation. This makes it easier to follow along. Third, basic vocabulary content for beginners. Typically uses basic vocabulary and straightforward sentences. This simplifies your learning process. And lastly, grammar in context. Pay attention to how basic grammar rules are applied in real life situations. This helps you understand the language's structure. But why should we start with the basics? First of all, it helps reduce overwhelm. Starting with the basics. Prevents feeling overwhelmed by complex language structures and unfamiliar vocabulary. Second of all, it leads to improved listening skills, gradually progressing from simple content to more challenging materials. Ensures you develop strong listening skills over time. And finally, just as a house needs a sturdy foundation, your language skills require. A solid starting point. Building from the basics sets you up for success as you advance. Tip number two: Choose diverse content. Selecting a variety of content is pivotal when striving to improve your English listening skills. To begin with, try exploring different English-speaking countries. Look for content originating from various English-speaking countries. Like the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and more. Each region has its unique accent and vocabulary. Or you can listen to various genres. Diverse content includes not only different accents but also various genres such as news reports, podcasts, movies, TV shows, interviews, and music. Each offers a distinct. Listening experience. Another method is to engage with native speakers. Whenever possible, engage in conversations with native speakers from different regions. This provides a practical opportunity to familiarize yourself with their accent and speaking styles. You can also try language learning apps and platforms. Many language learning apps. Offer content from different regions and speakers. Explore these resources to access diverse content conveniently. Mix familiar and unfamiliar content. Balance between content that you're comfortable with and content that challenges you. This ensures a gradual progression in your listening skills. And here are the benefits of choosing diverse content. The first benefit is improved adaptation. Exposure to diverse content enhances your ability to adapt to different English-speaking situations, reducing potential communication barriers. The second one is enhanced cultural awareness. Understanding diverse accents and dialects fosters cultural awareness and empathy, facilitating smoother interactions. With people from various backgrounds, and lastly, increased learning resilience. 
Listening to different styles of English builds resilience, making it easier to understand unfamiliar accents and dialects. Tip number three: active listening. Passive listening won't get you very far. Active listening is a dynamic and purposeful approach to enhancing your English listening skills. Instead of passively letting the audio wash over you, you actively engage with the content you're listening to. Here's how you can practice active listening. First, take notes. While listening, jot down key points, unfamiliar words, or interesting phrases. This helps you stay engaged and provides reference material for later study. Second, try to repeat sentences or phrases. Pause the audio and try to repeat what you've just heard. This helps you work on pronunciation and memorize new vocabulary. Third, you should also mimic pronunciation and intonation. Pay attention to how native speakers. Pronounce words and the intonation they use. Try to mimic their speech patterns. This not only improves your pronunciation, but also your ability to understand spoken English. Another tip is to ask questions. If you're listening to a podcast or watching a video, ask yourself questions about the content. For example, try to predict what the speaker will say next. Or summarize what you've heard in your own words. And finally, try to engage emotionally. Connect with the content on an emotional level, whether it's a story, a speech, or a conversation. Try to understand the emotions and motivations of the speakers. This can deepen your comprehension and make the listening experience more enjoyable. Active listening not only improves your ability to understand spoken English, but also enhances your overall communication skills. By actively engaging with the language, you train your brain to process information more effectively, which is essential for effective communication in any language. Tip number four: Slow down the audio. Listening to English content. At a natural pace can be challenging, especially for learners. Many podcast apps and video platforms offer the option to control the playback speed, allowing you to slow down the audio. Here's why and how to use this technique effectively. Why slow down the audio? Firstly, this enhances comprehension. Slowing down the audio. Gives you more time to process what's being said. This can be especially helpful when you're dealing with fast speakers or complex content. Secondly, improved pronunciation. It allows you to hear individual words and sounds more clearly, which can aid in improving your pronunciation and understanding how words are spoken naturally. Better vocabulary recognition. When you slow down the audio, you have more time to recognize and understand unfamiliar words or phrases. And how to slow down the audio? Most podcast apps, such as Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts, have playback speed controls. You can typically find this option in the settings or while playing an episode. Common speed options include 0.5x, 0.75x, and 1x or normal speed. Start by slowing it down to 0.75x or even 0.5x if needed. And video platforms like YouTube also offer playback speed settings. These can often be accessed by clicking the gear icon in the video player. And selecting playback speed, you can adjust the speed to your preference. Here are some tips for effective use. Gradual adjustment. If you're not accustomed to slow down speech, start with a modest reduction in speed, such as 0.75x. As you become more comfortable, 
you can further decrease the speed if necessary. Or combine with active listening while listening at a slower speed. Practice active listening techniques as described in tip number three. Take note, repeat sentences, and focus on pronunciation. And remember to use it sparingly. Slowing down the audio is a useful tool, but don't rely on it too heavily. The goal is to become proficient at understanding spoken English at a natural pace. So use this technique as a supplement rather than a crutch. Increase speed gradually. Over time, try to increase the playback speed back to normal. This will challenge you to listen at a faster pace and adapt to real-time conversations. Remember that slowing down the audio is a valuable practice tool, but it should be part of a broader strategy that includes exposure to real-time English speech. Balancing slower listening with regular speed listening is essential for building strong English listening skills. Tip number five, use transcripts. Transcripts, also known as subtitles or written versions of spoken content, can be invaluable tools for improving your English listening skills. Here's how you can effectively use transcripts to enhance your language learning experience. First, enhance comprehension. Transcripts provide a written version of what is being said in audio or video content. Reading along as you listen can significantly enhance your comprehension as you can see the words while hearing them. You can pause and replace sections that are challenging or unclear, allowing you to grasp the meaning more effectively. Second, vocabulary and spelling. Transcripts can help you identify new words and phrases. When you encounter unfamiliar vocabulary, you can look up their meanings and practice their pronunciation. Transcripts also aid in improving your spelling of English words as you see the words in context. Third, contextual understanding. Written transcripts provide context for what is being said. Understanding the context is crucial for interpreting idiomatic expressions, slang, or humor often found in spoken language. You can better grasp the relationships between different parts of the conversation or the main ideas being conveyed. Fourth, self-assessment. Compare your understanding of the spoken content with the transcript. Identify sections where you had difficulty understanding or where you made mistakes in pronunciation or interpretation. This helps you pinpoint areas for improvement. Fifth, active learning. Actively engage with the transcript while listening. Highlight key points, underlying new vocabulary, or make notes in the margins. This reinforces your learning and helps you retain information. But where to find transcripts? Many podcasts, online videos, and language learning resources provide transcripts. Look for transcripts on the official websites of content creators or on dedicated language learning platforms. Some websites and apps, such as TED Talks, provide interactive transcripts that allow you to click on individual sentences to replay the corresponding audio segment. Here are some tips for using transcript effectively. Start with content that matches your current proficiency level. As you progress, challenge yourself with more complex materials. Don't rely solely on transcripts. They should complement your listening practice, not replace it. Gradually reduce your dependence on transcripts as your listening skills improve. Try shadowing. Listen to the audio while reading the transcript and attempt to speak along with the speaker. This helps 
with pronunciation and rhythm, or incorporating transcript into your English learning routine can be a powerful tool for building listening skills. They provide support and guidance as you work towards understanding spoken English in real life situations. Tip number six, vocabulary expansion. Expanding your vocabulary is a crucial aspect of improving your English listening skills. Here's a comprehensive guide on how to effectively expand your vocabulary while working on your listening skills. First, actively collect new words and phrases. While listening to English content, make a habit of noting down new words and phrases that you encounter. These may be unfamiliar words or expressions used in context. Use a dedicated notebook or a note-taking app to create a vocabulary list. Organize it by topics or themes, making it easier to review later. Second, understand meanings and usage. For each word or phrase you collect, take the time to understand its meaning and how it's used in sentences. Context is vital for grasping the nuances of vocabulary. Use online dictionaries or language learning apps to look up definitions, example sentences, and pronunciation. Third, flashcards and language learning apps. Create flashcards for your vocabulary list. Include the word, its definition, and example sentences on one side, and the pronunciation on the other. Utilize language learning apps like Anki, Quizlet, or Memrise, which offer flashcard features and spaced repetition systems to help you memorize and reinforce vocabulary. Tip number seven, consistency is key. Consistency is a fundamental principle for improving your English listening skills, as well as for language learning in general. Here's a detailed explanation of why consistency matters and how to apply it effectively. First, why consistency matters Building habitual learning. Consistency helps you develop a habit of listening to and engaging with English regularly. When language learning becomes a routine part of your life, you're more likely to make steady progress. Retaining and reinforcing knowledge. Regular exposure to the language helps reinforce what you learned. Consistent practice prevents you from forgetting words, phrases, and grammar rules that you've already covered. Adapting to natural speech. Consistency enables you to gradually adapt to the natural pace and nuances of spoken English. Over time, you become more comfortable with various accents and speaking styles. And lastly, building confidence. As you consistently improve your listening skills, your confidence in understanding and communicating in English will grow. This confidence is essential for effective language use. And how to achieve consistency? Let's begin with setting realistic goals. Establish achievable language learning goals. For instance, you might commit to listening to English content for 30 minutes a day or watching one English movie per week. Having clear goals makes it easier to stay consistent. You also need to create a schedule. Dedicate specific times in your daily or weekly schedule for English listening practice. Treat it as an appointment that you must keep. Or you can try mixing it up. Variety can help maintain your interest and motivation. Incorporate different types of content, such as podcasts, audiobooks, movies, news, and music into your routine. Consistency is indeed key 
to achieving success in improving your English listening skills. By making language learning a regular part of your life and staying committed to your goals, you'll steadily progress and become a more confident and effective listener in English. Tip number eight, join language communities. Joining language communities, whether online or in person, can be an incredibly effective way to improve your English listening skills and overall language proficiency. Here's a more detailed explanation of how and why you should consider joining language communities. First, why joining language communities? Real-life conversational practice. Language communities offer you the opportunity to engage in real-life conversations with native English speakers or fellow learners. This practical experience is invaluable for improving your listening skills. Cultural exposure. Being part of a language community exposes you to the culture, customs, and slang of English-speaking regions. This cultural context enhances your understanding of spoken language. Build confidence. Engaging in conversations within a supportive community can boost your confidence in speaking and listening. You'll gain the assurance needed to participate in English conversations outside the community. Received feedback. Language community members often provide feedback on your language skills, including pronunciation and grammar. Constructive feedback can help you identify areas for improvement. Access to resources. Language communities often share resources such as recommended books, podcasts, and language learning apps that are particularly useful for improving listening skills. And how to join and participate in language communities? You can try online language exchange platforms, websites and apps like Tandem, HelloTalk, or Conversation Exchange connect language learners with native speakers for language exchange. You can chat via text, voice, or video. Or you can also opt for language meetup groups. Look for language meetup groups in your local area. These gatherings provide opportunities to converse with native speakers and fellow learners in person. Next, online forums and social media. Join English language learning forums, Facebook groups, or subreddits dedicated to language learning. These platforms often have communities eager to help learners. You can also enroll in language courses or classes offered by local language schools or online platforms. These often come with opportunities for group discussions or language exchange, or attend cultural events. Attend English-speaking cultural events such as festivals, conferences, or workshops in your area. These events provide chances to engage with native speakers. Here are some tips for effective participation. First, be active. Engage regularly within the community. Consistent interaction will lead to more significant progress in your listening and speaking skills. Be open-minded. Be open to conversations with people from various backgrounds and accents. This diversity will enrich your language experience. Ask questions. Don't hesitate to ask questions when you don't understand something. Most language learners and native speakers are happy to explain. And remember to provide help in return. If you're a native English speaker or proficient in the language, consider helping others who are learning your language in exchange for assistance with your target language. 
and be patient. Learning through conversation can be challenging at times, but it's normal to encounter difficulties. Keep practicing and you will improve. Practice active listening. Apply active listening techniques that you've learned from tip number three during conversations within the community. By joining language communities, you immerse yourself in an environment where you can practice listening, speaking, and understanding English in a practical and authentic way. This immersion significantly accelerates your language learning journey and helps you become a more proficient English listener. Improving your English listening skills takes time and effort, but with dedication and the right strategies, you can make significant progress. Remember to diversify your listening materials, practice regularly, and actively engage with the content. Over time, you'll become a more proficient English listener, which will benefit your overall language skills. Thank you for tuning in to today's podcast. We hope you found these insights valuable in your language learning journey. If you enjoyed this episode and found it helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Your support motivates us to continue creating resources to help you excel in your language skills. Stay tuned for our next episode. And until then, keep learning and exploring the world of language with us.